Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today I will be smoking the Cohiba Bahiki 54. We are dealing with a cigar with over 13 years worth of age to it. These were originally released at the MSRP of $32 per stick. As we know now, these are one of the most expensive Cuban cigars, over $400, sometimes $500, $600 Per stick. With all of that being said, this is not the Cohiba Bahiki that I will be smoking. I've got a second Cohiba Bahiki right next to me. It is also from the same box. We are going to smoke the one that's a little bit tattered as it has moved around with me at all the locations that I have moved and I just did not do a great job of maintaining it. The other one, which you'll notice, this one that's a little bit more preserved, it had a little bit of a higher RH today. So that is part and parcel of the reason why we are smoking the tattered one. If we need to go back and smoke the one that is a little bit better preserved, we can always do that at a later time. Removing the pigtail cap, cold draw notes on this are creamy cedar, no pepper whatsoever. The difference between the Cohiba Bihiki and other Cohibas besides the Medio Tiempo leaf, which is part of the top priming of the sun-grown Habano plant, are the fact that these were all rolled by one individual Norma Fernandez, and she also had final say over what would be the exact blend for the Cohiba Bahiki. Creamy, it has cedar to it, it has nutty components, it has that Cuban essence, that grassy note to it. There is very little, if no pepper on the retro hail, there's just flavor. That's all you get. Off the retro, you get a little bit of dairy kind of confectionery note, you get all of the wonderful cedar, sweet cream, bready notes, yeast. The nutty components are starting to fade into the back. We're still ramping up in body and spice. The finish has been long on this cigar since about midway through the first third. So initially it started off, it was a little short, definitely kind of waking up from its slumber, so to speak. Now that we're in the second third and this thing is firing on all cylinders, I mean, we have got five at the very most on spice, but we have got length to the finish. In the process of doing this review, I did everything but chill the bubbles. We got bubbles. So GH Mama Brut Cordon Grand Cordon Rosé. Rosé, Brut, Demi Sec, all that good stuff. Here we go. Cheers. Oh, yeah. On a hot, humid day like it is today in Vegas, well within the top 10, maybe even top five that I have ever had all time. You know, Vintage Cigar, he has a whole entire, EKB, he has a whole entire channel about that. Or he has a whole entire series about smoking your best cigars. And this is one of those examples where like, smoking your best cigars, man, is is really where it's at. Because I feel as though that at a certain point, it kind of recenters your focus. The final third on the Cohiba Bihiki 54 finishes off with this sweet graham cracker note, followed by a little bit of honey or a molasses type sweetness. It has this flavor concentration that you only find in so many cigars, and when you do come across it, it is absolutely phenomenal. That drying effect that you get off of the graham cracker, along with the sweetness, is also helped out too with a little bit of bubbles. Kind of cleanses the palate, refreshes everything. And yeah, graham cracker. Spice level now is at a six, almost a seven. It's not staying to the nostrils or to the upper palate whatsoever, but it is present. And it is probably the spiciest point of the cigar. As far as a retro hell effect goes, it's also the hottest point of the cigar. So along with combustion comes a little bit more of an increase in overall perception of pepper. It goes without saying, but it's a box-worthy stick. It's an absolutely phenomenal cigar, and rightfully so. It's designed to be one of the very best Cohibas that has ever been made. And coming from Cohiba, a brand that I've thoroughly enjoyed a lot of their releases, this is one of my favorite cigars that they have ever made. So I'd like to thank everyone for liking, commenting, subscribing, continuing to grow the community here at Master Your Ash. Thank you all so very much. Look for us on Patreon as we do a giveaway at the end of every single month, as well as Rumble and Spotify in case anything ever happens to us on YouTube. Thank you all so much, and I look forward to catching you again for another Cohiba Bahiki Cigar Review.